day three of interval training. First thing I've noticed, actually I noticed it yesterday, is my ribs are bruised. And I'm not sure why until I lay down on the cement. And it's right where my ribs hit the cement. But I didn't think that that would cause me to have bruised ribs to lay here and do a video. So I don't know if it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's because of my lungs and just I haven't done any cardio lately or it's actually me laying on this concrete and I don't know, it's kind of weird. Anyways, um, everything seemed pretty normal again. Did the same thing as Monday and Tuesday. Sprint 50 yards, jog back, sprint 50 yards, jog back, sprint 50 yards, jog back. Then do it again, but walking back. So six total times of sprinting. It's harder than it sounds. Like I watched the video and I was like, I can do that. And then, and then the next part is like some push-ups between all of them and another six times you do it. And another one is like knee jumps. And then I, I thought I could do all of it and I can only do the first six. So n mainly because of my lungs, I would say. Um, I do feel uh, pretty tired, body tired, like not sleep tired, just my muscles and my everything is just still sore and I keep pushing myself even though I'm sore. And tomorrow is an off day because I work early in the morning, like 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I don't work out that morning and that's kind of my day off that day and Sunday for working out anyways. So I'm excited actually for that. And then uh, Friday, I'm doing a thing called car carb loading. Um, basically, on the keto diet, you're not eating any carbs at all, and your body is burning fat um, and instead of sugar. But um, I've been doing it for four months, and people say that your body starts to plateau, where it starts to adapt to what you're feeding it, and it kind of needs a reset. And I don't know how often other people carb load, but I think they do it like once a week. So I'm going to try Friday doing it, and I'm not going to do it with unsafe carbs. I'm going to do it with things like grape nuts, corn chips, quinoa, a banana, um, stuff that I don't usually eat that has sugar and carbs in it. So I'm not going to go crazy and eat donuts and chips, I mean, like potato chips and, and stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. I'm excited for that day. So there's some foods that I don't eat very often or haven't ate for a while so that'll be fun we'll see how that affects it um, I can already tell a difference in my body just in the last couple days from this workout I'm doing right now so we'll see if it continues if it affects anything so I'm headed back home to uh, lift dumbbell weights actually I think a lot of my stuff's coordinated like planking and sit-ups and stuff like that so that's where I'm headed. Uh.